we're here at uh, Broughton Bluff. Uh, we're at a crag. I forget the name of the crag, but it houses uh, one of the well-known routes here called Classic Crack, which is, uh, I think, a 5'8 um, fingers and hand crack. Pretty straightforward, small pitch. But I thought I would come here and set up a static line and uh, demonstrate how I ascend and also the gear that I take with me as I shoot climbing. So I'm going to go get that line strung up now and uh, check in with you here momentarily. All right, you know what? Safety is no joke, and that's why I have this helmet on. I have my static line set up, which I'll show you here in a minute. Suffice it to say, it's there, I promise. Uh, but the part I'm most excited about is to share the uh, setup that I have with my Topo Designs bag, which I'll show you here momentarily. Also show you how I rig up my Ascender kit. Um, yeah, and how I start uh, sending up the rope. So a little bit of gym trickery come come your way. But yeah, hope it's helpful. All right, so I have my Ascender kit, which I showed you earlier at the car. Uh, in this, I have my Aider, my Ascender, some Beaners, um, basically everything I need to grab and go and have all my, like that to me is my work kit right there for for shooting photos on the rope. And in here, this is my Topo Designs uh, hip pack here. I believe this is the light hip pack. They also have a minimal hip pack, which I've not tried, but I'm sure is also equally awesome. Um, so in here, I have my 16 to 35. Uh, I have the Peak Design leash, which I will demonstrate here momentarily that I use for backing up my camera and making sure that's all uh, connected and isn't going to fall off the uh, out of my bag or fall off of me while I'm shooting. I also have my 70 to 200. Usually, if I feel like um, if I feel like I need either of these based on the route, I might pair this kit down. But normally, this is my go-to: a 16 to 35, a 70 to 200, and between those two, I can shoot probably 90% of what I normally shoot. Uh, I carry my um, spare SD cards in this little wallet, which is clipped somehow to the bag, usually to a zipper or sometimes this little bit here. And then, um, with it, I have this little Sigma, you know, spuds lens cleaner for emergencies, but usually I, again, I try and do all the prep work ahead of time. So everything's nice and clean, but I always, always, always keep these SD cards inside the bag. Outside the bag, uh, sometimes this will go on the inside as well, but I have this Topo Designs little pouch, which works great for just ca catching small things. In here, I have a couple of spare parts, Allen wrenches, but most importantly, my batteries. Like I said before, I rarely need to rely on these, so that's why they're in this pouch, and that's why I often keep it on the outside. Uh, if I feel like I'm going to be up on the wall a lot, I might slip the I might take the batteries out and put them in here with the SD cards. Uh, but more often than not, this is, this is where that sh stuff goes. Uh, one other thing I really appreciate about these Topo Designs bags is that they have at least this model. I'm sure other curlers vary with with um, you know the the materials on the inside and out. But what I really appreciate is it's yellow on the inside. Uh, and that just makes it so that if there's anything in here that I need to find, it sticks out and it's easy for me to find. And with a lot of other bags, they're either black or gray. And I, I just really appreciate that feature alone for this bag. It's, it's just really slick. So when I am ready to get this rigged up to take up with me, usually what I'll do is I will take this um, hip belt and I will either wrap that around my shoulders, which I'll show you here in a second, or I'll wrap it around my waist. And if I do that, I'll usually sling the handle. Sorry, my camera camera skills are a little bit wonky right now. I'll usually sling this handle or put a beaner on this and attach it to my body in some way. So it's just a little extra backup. Um, but yeah, so I'll get that secured to me 
rigged up to my harness and or the ascender and just make sure that it's nice and backed up because the last thing I want to do is drop any of the stuff in here on anyone. That's quite a safety hazard or, you know, selfishly, I just don't want to lose my stuff. So yeah, uh, that's that. All right, so this is my rig up here. I've got my single foot aider, which I, again, absolutely love. Uh, I highly recommend something simple and easy to use so that there's less confusion. And as I said before, I find that a five-step aider for this kind of work on one or two pitches is just too much for me and, and adds to confusion. And I'm a firm believer that more confusion means more accidents. So I try to be as simple as possible. Um, what I like about this aider, and shout out to my friends at badcountry.com for hooking me up with this thing because it was a little hard to find. What I like about it is that really straightforward and easy to adjust if I want a shorter length for my foot, or likewise if I want a longer length, uh, short, sorry, shorter length for uh, the waist connection. It's just really straightforward. Um, it's got this little rubber nuance, which sometimes a little pain in the butt but for staying in one place, it's, it's awesome. And then again, I've just got this looped around my um, harness here so that it acts as a backup. Super, super chill, easy to use. I really, really love it. And then the other thing is for moving up and down, let me just go down rope a little bit. So when I'm moving up, I, uh, I'm not gonna, this isn't going to be elegant. I'm certainly not the best at this, but when I move up, step and pull out the slack on the other side with my right hand, and then that loads through the gree gree, and the gree gree holds, and that's how you move up pretty pretty quickly. Um, in a pinch, you know, I can move up and down fast enough to to really get just about any shot that I would want. So it, it works really works really well. A lot of climbing photographers use this system. Um, it probably is a little bit low on, or sorry, not low, it's probably a little bit underpowered on a big wall, but you know, I don't shoot, I don't typically shoot big wall stuff. So for one to two pitches, maybe upwards, it works just fine for me. And, and again, simplicity's sake. Um, what else here? So let me demonstrate. I don't have my Sony camera in here because it's filming where you are. And also, I just want to point out, I don't normally carry this many, this much junk with me. Um, I've got these little bits and pieces because I set up an anchor for the tripod and camera where you are. So, just ignore this little bit. My, my workstation though, this is where my desk is, I like to say. So, this is the Topo Designs Hip Pack. Again, I have all my camera gear in here. Uh, it's got little fun little pockets for segmenting and sorting through things. So I put all my lens caps in a certain pocket, put the SD cards in a certain pocket in here. And as I said before, it's yellow on the inside. So that makes finding things super, super easy. Fits all my stuff really easily. Um, yeah, what I, what I really appreciated about it is just the, the amount of options it gives me. So normally I sling, it's got this waist belt but I sling that around my shoulders like so. And then it makes it super easy to move it around my, my waist when I need to pull stuff out, change lenses, shoot. Uh, it's usually right here when I shoot. Rests nicely on my harness, as you can see. Um, there are certain situations where I feel like it's kind of a little bit cumbersome. Maybe I'll tack it to a bolt in the wall or an anchor or something. Or in a lot of cases, I'll just tack it to my master point here and make sure that it's backed up and safe and, and secure there as I move up and down. But uh, that's, that's maybe not the smartest thing to do. I'm sure there will be, be people out there that give me a thumbs down for that one. But it works. Um, I've never had any problems. I'm super safety conscious, so take it for what it's worth. But this thing rocks. It's great for what I need. Um, it's got the handles. I can clip those to something uh, it's got these little little loops of webbing. I can clip beaners through, clip slings through, just to back up. More more little clippy points here. I'm gonna call them clippy points. I know that's not the official term. Hopefully Topo Designs does not frown upon me for using clippy points when I'm, when I'm describing their awesome product. 
But yeah, that's that's basically it. And then, you know, ascending quickly, shooting, 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 um, descending, shooting. This thing is with me most the entire time, and it meets my needs really, really well. I'm a big fan. So with that, I'm out. I think that's all I've got to demonstrate. Um, if anybody has any questions or wants a follow-up about anything in particular, please let me know. And otherwise, I will see you on the flip side. Poison oak is no joke, people. Keep that in mind. All right, people. I just got done shooting some behind-the-scenes looks into how I do my thing on the wall, how I shoot my climbing photography. So, yeah, here at Broughton Bluff, just about to leave and continue on with the day. So I'm going to say see you for now. It's been real. Have seriously enjoyed showing you some of this stuff, and hopefully it's helpful.